Today we will discuss about VQube tool. I welcome all my friends on my educational channel. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Like and share also. The VQube tool is a persistent, clickable and dragable interface that you use to switch between standard and isometric views of your model. When you display the VQube tool, it is shown in one of the corners of the window over the model in an inactive state. The VQube tool provides viewer feedback about the current viewpoint of the model as view change occur. When the cursor is positioned over the VQube tool, it becomes active. You can drag or click the VQube. Switch to one of the available preset views, roll of the current view, or change to the home view of the model. Now we select isometric view. We see the project from top side. We discuss VQube default settings. These settings we can change. The top side is north side, it is back view of model. The opposite direction of north is always south. So it is south side and front view of model as view cube displays. If the north is in front of us, then east is in our right hand. That's why it is east side and right view. The opposite direction of east is always west. So this side is west side and left view of the model. There is home button above of it. Home button default location is front right top corner. There are arrow keys on right upper corner. It helps to rotate the model at any direction. If we long press left click of mouse, on view cube. It shows us pivot point on model. We can rotate it with the help of mouse. There is drop down context menu button on right bottom side. You can also view this context menu by right clicking on view cube. The first tool is go home. You can access go home from context menu. You can also access it from home button on top side. From save view, you can save any view by assigning a name. Now here, perspective view. Perspective view helps you to present project and design. Orthographic 3D view shows the building model in a 3D view, where all components are the same size regardless of the canvas distance. Now this section is set current view as home. If you select any current view, it will save in home button. The default direction of front view is south. You can assign any direction from here. Default direction will apply by selecting reset front. Compass is located under the view cube. Compass represent the view direction. We can hide or unhide it from here. Using the view cube, you can orient a 3D view to any plan, elevation, section or 3D view in the model. You can orient the view to a direction that corresponds to the project coordinates. It's a great way to quickly get a better eye on your model. We can search and find any topic information from Autodesk website through help button. We can switch view cube direction by selecting face, edges and corners. We can also rotate it with the help of mouse by pressing shift button. By pressing control button, we can zoom in and zoom out the model. There is also some settings and information under view cube section 
in option standard box. There is view cube appearing checkbox in top. If we check show the view cube box, then view cube box appears in drawing working area. By unchecking box, view cube disappears. Below is shown in section box. Here are two options. By selection first option, it will appear in all 3D views. In second option, it will appear active view only. We can also change the view cube on screen position. The default position is top right. Position we can change as bottom right, top left, and bottom left. View cube size is also changeable. It will adjust the size automatically according to view. It can be sized in tiny, small, medium, and large. In active opacity, specify the opacity of the view cube when not in use. If you select 0%, the view cube will not display in the drawing area unless you move the cursor over the view cube on screen position. When dragging the view cube snap to closest view cube view orientation, a view cube view orientation is one of the 26 view options a face, edge, or corner of the view cube. When clicking the view cube fit to view or view change, if you have an element or component selected in the drawing area and click on the view cube, the view rotates accordingly and the view zooms to fit the element in the drawing area. Use animated transition when switching views shown on animated action when you switch view orientation. Keep scene upright keeps the side of the view cube and the view perpendicular to the ground plane. If you deselect this option, you can orbit the model in full 360 degree motion, which may be useful when you are editing a family. There is compass, height or show checkbox. It will apply on current project only. If you bring back the all default settings, then select restore default. It's our today's view cube topic. I hope you like my today's video. So keep watching.